Ouais. It's a quote I really like. I mean, I thought it was plain graphic, but they said no one knows who it is. That writing about music is like dancing about architecture. And I think it's a beautiful quote, but this idea of like, if you like art, the only way to really communicate that is to make it mm. Yeah, that's, that's nice. <laughs> So when did you leave the church? I um I don't know if I'm officially left yet, which is Ooh. really the odd thing. Um, so it is a long story, I guess we can go more. Am I sitting? Where am I sitting? It's been a long ride, but now I wanna. It's been a long ass time, so let's hang out and go to a fucking bar. Yeah. You have. Cool. Yay! Whoa, speed run. The wind is... I think we we've successfully like held them down as well. Hopefully, no like freak wind bursts go. That would make for some good footage. That would, yeah. I mean, we've had it before. It's happened. Did you know that Kubrick threw a camera out the window? Yeah. Well, we put a camera in the wind. It <laughs> fell over. <laughs> I mean, that must happen fairly. Frequently. I got a little loop de loop in my thing. That's one of my least favorite film bro facts. I'm like, did you know that Stanley Kubrick threw a camera out the window? For which movie? For Clockwork. He threw There's a camera the, out the window. Um, have you seen it, Clockwork? Orange? I have seen it, but it's okay. been a while. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there, there is a scene oh. where someone. <laughs> I just like totally missed my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Someone jumps out a window, and so he threw a camera out camera out the window and I just not because know. he was mad not because he, he could have been right. um I don't know I, I spend too much time on film YouTube on film so YouTube th yeah. things, things bother me when it's like a mm. yeah. what other pages what other film YouTube pages are you on, are you on do you watch sorry go ahead no ask or do you watch that? Nerdwriter 3 I think no I've never heard of that sounds awesome uh, he's great yeah he uh, he does stuff outside of film too he just kind of analyzes art and like writes like very thoughtful nice video essays and for some reason they don't come off like as very like judgmental mm -hmm. like a lot I, I feel kind of do uh, it's just like it's a nerd you know like it's just a nerd talking yeah. about movies and it's cool yeah, I like stuff like it's that. It's hard to talk about art unless you are a nerd. Yeah. Cause if yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. True. Totally. That's to so true. But anyway, what a, um, I feel like, w are you an artist? I am. Can you talk about that on occasion? Wait, what's your name? <laughs> my name <laughs> is. Tell the audience. Oh, <laughs> my name is Isaac. My name. <laughs> my name is Isaac. Isaac yeah. My name is Isaac. Yeah, get situated. <laughs> my name is Isaac. We have people watching like kind of everywhere and it's crazy to me. Do we? Yeah, like the people that have interacted with us have been like from Arizona or from like where is he from? Philippines. That guy? Philippines. Another guy from Japan. Another mm -hmm. guy from I wanna France. Go, yeah. Right? France? Yeah, some guy messaged us and he was like, Hey, love you, your guys' stuff. What what flags are those? God, he's always like spaced out. That's he's a, like never that's, listening. That's to a Mexico me. flag and a Blue Lives Matter flag. Oh, okay. Flying nice. in um You have in good vision. Tangent. Okay. That's a fun fact about well, I you. think that yeah. I have good visuals. Good vision. No, that's yeah. that's this what is, I thought, I, but I wasn't like sure. Like I was like that's an it's interesting. A, it's combo. a strange pairing. I believe that is the Mexican flag. <laughs> um <laughs> like that's why I was like, wait, what the fuck? I mean, that's interesting. 
Well, I think I'm hoping one of these cameras Cardinal is getting it. Still back? No, I can't just like film it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but this is an interesting visual. I would love to just film it. Here, wait one sec. Those tuning in, la, 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 tuning in. What we are seeing is a, is a jeep. Well, it's 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 leaving. Gonna be quick. Where is it? Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> going off the. Oh, perfect. They stopped. That was it. That's all we needed. That was a risky move. We'll see. No, it Maybe wasn't. Not. Did you get the plate number? <laughs> I'll blur it out. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> anyway, um, what were we talking about before that? Artists. Yeah, Artists. so. What He's Isaac. Oh, yeah, and. Isaac. Yeah. I'm Isaac. And we met at the performance that I had earlier. Yes, the Katuben. Right. Performance. And you watched that and. Yeah, you came to that. And really <laughs> enjoyed, and you really enjoyed it. You watched that. <laughs> you watched that. I closed my <laughs> eyes, actually. I'm sorry. I didn't watch it. I that would be that would be an interesting reaction to a, a live performance. <sighs> I'd like to analyze it's that. It's too <laughs> real. <laughs> no, I've done that before. I've watched a whole movie covering my eyes. Why? What whole movie before. The Dark Knight. Okay. Wait, you yeah. were scared? I was scared. <gasps> was this scared like, cat? Once young, Two-Face young came Elliot? in. Young Elliot? Uh, eleven year old Elliot. And so Damn, yeah. he's a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've looked away from movies. Like I've, oh, I've been okay. very frightened. Like from, from um, which movie? Yeah. Any in particular? I watched The Thing for the first time, uh, mm. in at Majestic Theaters. Which one? Um the, the one in Tempe. No, but uh like John well that's interesting. Oh, okay, too, yeah, the original <laughs> the original thing. Okay, John Carpenter's John okay. I love okay. that movie. I, I really enjoyed it. I it's so good. Yeah. I'm I'm a little I'm a queasy person, mm. so I I, I expected a thriller, and I expected good because everyone's like, oh, I love the thing, the special effects. That's uh, that's the only thing people say about it. There's a lot going on, of course, but so I watch it with my partner, and mm. if I wasn't with her, I would have walked out. Really, it would have been. It was a lot for me, um, in a really great way. People always talk about when they finish a horror movie, sometimes it feels like they went through something mm -hmm. and they survived something. And I'd never felt right. that before except with that. Yeah, it's it's really an experience mm -hmm. watching that movie. Mm -hmm. That it, It's a really intense experience. I watched the new one first mm. by accident. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen that one. Like uh, the 2010 one. My dad would just take us. I thought, take that, I thought it was like 90s. Or did they make a couple? I don't know. I guess it's really new. Well, yeah. I don't know. But my my dad would just take us to rated R movies all the time. For f to see your reaction, or because you know I don't know. I okay. think just because he wanted to see them. Well, no, no, no. You know what? He like was like, "What do you want to do?" Mm -hmm. Because we had he hadn't seen us in a while because of the divorce and stuff. And uh, he was like, "What do you want to do?" Our and next I, topic will be. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> I was like eight or nine, and I was like, "I want to see a rated R movie," because mm -hmm. I grew up. Church of Christ, very, very like conservative Christian, and now my dad's like he came back smelling like bacon, and I was like, wait, what? Are you are you cool, Dad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then we watched Radar movies. It was a point of confusion, <laughs> but then he took us to a bunch of Radar R movies, so like Watchmen. Uh, Horrible Bosses, mm -hmm. you know, the, those movies. No, Just, I know them, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, how do we get on that topic? Oh, yeah. Look, Any, what about yours? Well, whatever topic we get into, is that's that's how it happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. What are you drinking? Um, mystery beverage. Do we want to attempt a guess? Lemonade. Lemonade. No. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Is what could it be? Pineapple juice? I guess I, I guess no one will know. <laughs> what if we guess it? Would you tell us? Like milk I Gatorade. Think I, I think oh, of okay, milk okay. and Gatorade, actually. Yeah, the blue Gatorade with a little bit of soy milk. Mm -hmm. Blue Gatorade with a little bit of soy milk. Mm -hmm. And then you mix it. Wait, really? Yeah. That's what that is. 
Could be. <laughs> Schrodinger's beverage. <laughs> wow. Can I just like... Apple juice? <laughs> no, what it is what not it? apple juice. Kombucha? I don't know what that is, so I wish it was. Yeah. You should try kombucha. What is that? I would love a... Um, it's this thing at Whole Foods. <laughs> okay, Whole Foods is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. But it's like a probiotic drink, right? Oh, cool. It tastes kind of bad, mm -hmm. but it's also kind of good. Wh wait, which one? Kombucha. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's... It's like fermented tea. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like, I'm eh on it. Like, I'd rather just have a smoothie or something. Mm -hmm. I love it. I that love how it delicious. attacks me. Like, I love... I know, he made it. I made it. No, I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty bomb at making smoothies these days. <laughs> that, that's probably my favorite food in the world is a smoothie. Mm. Like, if you could only have one thing for a week, a smoothie is a good way to go. Because you, you can mm. make a good breakfast, lunch, yeah. and dinner smoothie. Would, totally. Really, you would? Whoa, breakfast, I think, what I are think your lunch you and dinner smoothies? Well, savory no, not that, smoothie? Not that it would be savory, but if I had to only have one type of food, smoothie wouldn't be the worst. For like for a week's time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. except like a salad might be easier to go with because right, it'd be kind of tough just drinking all the time. We've been trying out a new salad, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of onions, <laughs> and but it's, it makes me feel good. Like it makes me feel powerful. It's like I ate this whole onion. <laughs> for me, <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's cool. That's how I feel. That's pretty sweet. I mean, I can. I also feel that a little bit. I think, but like, I much prefer it the next day, when like the onions don't Old feel like onion. they're yeah, because it's not like attacking you anymore. So like, it tastes no, perfect. No, or if you soak it in water. Oh it gets yeah, rid no, of that was where spiciness. it was at. Yeah, that was where it was at. That was so but good. I I like that, but I also was like, but why isn't it so spicy and attacking me? Really? You, you want it that way? It makes me feel... I got used to it because I ate it for like the past two weeks in Japan. Like, it's new for you again, but I've been eating it like every day for like the past two weeks. Mm. Well, that's Building cool. up your taste buds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. Are either of you spicy? <laughs> spicy food people? Not really. I, I go a certain level of spicy. Like, depends on who I'm with. <laughs> oh, so it's a it's a competition thing for you, or like no, a challenge? no, it's more a, just a social thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're we're both we're in this. So it's a together. So it's a social competition. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, it's just no. Like, I think I understand. Yeah, because my best friend growing up, he loved spicy stuff, and so he was like, "We gotta brave it out." And I was like, "Yeah, fuck yeah!" And so I did. You know, I've I've <laughs> never done anything super spicy, but I like spice. How much spice can you handle? I've ne like I've never tested myself. Mm. Like as I said earlier, I'm a little queasy, so I'm like right. frightened. Mm. Like I've had super sour candies and like a few kind of spicy things like that are supposed to be like, haha, it's just gonna burn you, mm -hmm. and I get scared. Mm. So I don't know how much I could take, but I like spicy food, even like curry and stuff. Mm. Like um, right, Indian food's great, but most mostly I have Mexican food. I mm. love Indian food. Mm. Yeah, Indian food's so good. But yeah, Mexican food. <laughs> I you love had, all food. Uh, like Thai food. Not oh, very Thai much. Food. I hardly ever eat out. Um, mm. I know I didn't growing up and on my own. I've done it even less. We should give but. him one of the Tom Yum noodles. Did it fall? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Just the fall? wind. Okay. Whoa! Not take my hat. I feel like Charlie Chaplin over here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But yeah, we should give him the Tom Yum noodle. Oh yeah, the Tom Yum noodles. Mm -hmm. Those are great. Those, are, great. <laughs> those, are, those are so good. Like, explain. What is the They're Tom like Yum? They're like my favorite noodles. It's like a Japanese Thai spin-off. Spin-off? <laughs> spin-off. <laughs> it's, Japan it's a noodle made in Japan, like a cup noodle. Mm -hmm. But it's like Flavors of the World series. And it's the Tom Yum flavor. Oh, and it tastes, it it tastes, tastes so good. It tastes better than the real Tom Yum. Japanese Yum. noodles Thai flavoring. Yeah. Is that? Okay. So it's a, the Japanese take on this yeah, Japanese specific take Thai dish. Yeah, Japanese take on the Tom Yum And it's soup. like in a cup, like just microwave it, or you like just... You put hot water in hot it. Hot water in it, okay. <laughs> put hot water in it. That's such an interesting... And like, it comes for with us, like a little microwave. Tom Yum like, <laughs> packet. And you yeah. put it on at the end. It's so good. It's so limey. Mm -hmm. And I think 
Because I had real tom yum in Thailand. Whoa. And it wasn't as good. Really? <laughs> it wasn't as good because the <laughs> Japan one is like catered to my liking specifically. That's mm. like you with the salad. You like the red onions. <laughs> you like them real like attacking you. Kind of, maybe. So the stronger, the better in foods. Mm, it's like you got to have that element. Not necessarily, because <laughs> I love a fucking boring ass mac and cheese. <laughs> but do you want the cheese to be strong or do you want it to just kind of like it reminds me of like wasabi like that same kind of like like you like, I like wasabi. i'm like oh this this sushi is great but then you have to have an element that's like attacking you an element of the food that's like really intense really that's I what that's how i feel about wasabi okay you got to be on the but, edge of your seat but i but i like it now i'm 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 getting used to wasabi and maybe my feelings on it will change but yeah what? How do we? Good There's enough. always an awkward silence Good after I say things. <laughs> <laughs> or or no, told me whenever Elliot says something dumb, just don't say anything else. Really? And, yeah. For, that was our. Did you say that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be that would be crazy. Um. So yeah. <laughs> What's up? You're good at like one of those jokes, because I tried it out like yesterday, and I was so bad at it. Because we have a rental car, and so our friend came, and I was like, yeah, we got a new car. <laughs> and I couldn't do it. I started laughing. Cause there's, oh, because you laughed at your own joke. Yeah, and I <laughs> ruined it. But, like, I didn't think it was funny. Mm. Like, I didn't know mm. why I was saying it, because I never, like, make you, jokes like that, because I know I'm bad at jokes. it. What? Well, for me, I never really make those jokes. But then Neither when people do. do it with me, like, I'm the worst person to do it with because <laughs> I, like, fully believe people. Yeah, I believe people, too. <laughs> well, maybe that means I'm the best person. But, <laughs> but, but no, but I end You're up... You're the, the worst I, target. Well, because I know that it's a joke. Yeah. But I'm also, like, but I'm going to go with it anyway for some reason. <laughs> that's, the be- that's the best thing to do. Yeah. You want to get to a point where um, you don't know who began the joke. I feel like that's cause this is <laughs> actually that's true. That's that's what I really okay. value yeah. about. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Dry mm-hmm. dry humor. I don't know. I think mm. that's an overused I don't term. Know. Um, yeah. But yeah, just lying to people. I think that's a, mm-hmm. if you don't know who started the lie, then no one's in trouble. Mm. Um, I had. I can't remember who it was actually. I think it was Bailey, my partner, and. Um, she thought I didn't have a license for probably a year because the first time I ever drove her anywhere, um, it was probably right around when I did get my license. And she's like, oh, you got your license? I was like, no, not yet. And then she just didn't say anything. And so for a year, she thought I didn't have my license. Wow. Yeah. How old were you? There it is. Like, that was like 17, 16. Hmm. Yeah, I, I got my license like a couple of days before my 17th birthday. <laughs> that's great thanks that's impressive uh, that's true uh what's uh so what 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 else <laughs> sorry wait so you're 20 years old i'm 20 years old how is it being 20 years old um your review my review so far mm-hmm. as a 20 year old in um these united states mm-hmm. that's good um, okay I'm definitely at a place where I don't know what's going on in my life next, and right. that's exciting. Sometimes it's really um, not exciting, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right now it's exciting, especially when I'm doing, like, I haven't necessarily said it now, but th- it's an honor to be here. I'm really happy to be here, uh, mm. and it's really cool that cool. I'm living a life that leads me to meet cool a things. lot of fun people and, mm. and, and do cool things. No, that's a good sign. Yeah. 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 You were you were really kind and, and open at your... um performance and that's a i've i try to go to a lot of local shows and stuff Mm -hmm. like concerts and it's a little tough when you see a performance you really like and then you go up to talk to them and they're not really Mm -hmm. communicative and sometimes it's because they're a jerk but sometimes it's just because they don't have a lot of practice with being open to people and Mm -hmm. that's that was something that you really like engaged people before and after Um, Mm. so i like that. oh that's cool Mm -hmm. yeah i don't know that wasn't on purpose I just, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. It was all a show, but that's no. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I just, I like talking to people, mm-hmm. so I don't really care who it is. <laughs> I mean, I 
the, the, I was actually worried that I couldn't talk to people enough at that uh, show. Mm. Like, I wish I could have been everywhere at once. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, I'm glad that we... Yeah, I'm so glad that we I, met I, again, because we've met... Met again, met a, twice a couple before. times, yeah. 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 Um, I got your signature at the first show. Mm. You signed my... Uh, not bus, but, like, light rail pass. Mm. Yeah, so one of light these, rail pass. One of these wow. days, it's going to be... That's, that's cool. rare. That's, Bertha. like, a rare item. You know about light rail. I do. I have a pass in my wallet. <laughs> Wait, really? For the light rail? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Did we ever go on the light rail? It was like a one-day pass that we didn't use. Hmm. Well, that's anyway, interesting. That's so you weird. have to do it. If you come to Arizona, you have to ride the light rail. <laughs> Wait, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> no you, you don't have to, but if you, if you have the opportunity... That's a great demonstration of what you were just talking about. <laughs> Grand Canyon or light rail? No, that's you gotta choice. do the tubing. That's where we are. Tubing. Yeah, but, yeah, let's talk about tubing. Oh, it's like going down the Nile. It, Hi, tubing. Have you been down the Nile? No, but, but this is exactly I can, like I can it. pretend like I'm going down the Nile. If you close your eyes and have a good imagination, I think you could. Yeah, I think I've never been to Egypt either, but Egypt doesn't have beautiful red rocks and mountain like that that's one of my i really like desert beauty i've lived in arizona my whole life so i'm a little biased but Mm -hmm. where were you born i was born in mesa Mm. but my family moved almost immediately up to snowflake arizona which is small town white mountains area okay snowflake how close is it to snowflake sedona Sedona is not very close to snowflake yeah snowflake snowflake do you know snow snowflakians does it does it, it have a yeah. reputation? It does have a reputation, which is weird. Can um, you tell me about that reputation? There's please? about s- it's <laughs> like seven thousand people, mm-hmm. um, and a lot of places you go, you'll know someone who knows someone, especially in and a lot of it has to do with connections in um, in the church, because a lot of Arizona and Utah, and California, and Nevada just has a lot of members of you know the Mormon Church. And so Snowflake, for whatever reason, a lot of people just move out to every big population center in all those states. Mm -hmm. So almost everyone you meet will be like, I know from someone from Snowflake, even though it's a really small town. So that's kind of the reputation. Interesting. We have a great great football team. Is that like a Mormon thing? I think so. But I think Mm. think that that goes across other things, probably. Is it like a predominantly Mormon uh, town? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The high school is probably like 60 or 70 percent. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. That's interesting. Yeah, I went to a an elementary school. I went to an elementary school that was predominantly Mormon mm-hmm. as well. But I I was never raised Mormon. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, that was always, yeah. What what was it like being Mormon? Are you still it, Mormon? Well, we can still clap. Yay! Dude, is it is it fine now? <laughs> Welcome to the beginning of the episode. Well, now it's in the middle of the episode. <laughs> we have to begin Welcome now. to the middle of the episode. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I sometimes I just want to like start like mugging to the camera, like have that be all of Park. Mugging like the whole like, like look in and <laughs> you know, <laughs> like <laughs> you know. Yeah, that would be hilarious. Do it right now. <laughs> that was okay. Uh, it was that was a you can try again. That was a B minus for sure. No, but it's a little generous. Yeah. <laughs> um. Wh- so, what do you think about like Weimar, Weimar Germany? Germany? Yeah, Weimar Germany. Weimar. Um, I'm unfamiliar. 1920s. Germany. Do you have an opinion? <laughs> now that I'm, um, you asked me, my only connection with 1920s Germany is like having seen like two Fritz Lang movies oh, and that, interesting. that's about all I know about Germany okay unfortunately I'd love you to teach me more no I, I mean I I'm just listening to a podcast mm-hmm. about it uh it's actually about Ernst Lubitsch do you know him oh cool yeah 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 I've just been listening to it and at the very first episode they give like a rundown of Weimar Germany 
and like kind is of that just like, the name of for the era yeah 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 well it's kind of they give a rundown of like the history of modern the modern history of germany mm-hmm. and it's very very interesting mm-hmm. and uh anyway i don't know why i'm bringing that up now but it's a, it's a good thing to bring up <laughs> i never knew about weimar yeah it's it was a crazy time because obviously i mean it was a time of moderate stability maybe but like but still post world war one so it's post world war one yeah. so yeah they were like fucked and resentful of america <laughs> but then they were uh, effed yeah they were fucked <laughs> but then also it was a place where a lot of artists were because uh it was kind of like no rules so people like really would it was like a great like there was so much art that was happening that was like shocking Shocking art. My fate, like Dada, I love the Dada movement. Oh, really? Which I don't know if that was mainly out of Germany, um, but just kind of Europe in general. That was mm-hmm. after World War One. Are you familiar uh, with like any Dada art? I, you know, I've heard of that, and I've probably I've seen it once or twice, but not s- however many times it takes to know what to, it looks to like. To know what it is, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. To know what it is. <laughs> I think my favorite things to read, and I haven't read nearly enough, is just different manifestos that people have made through the years. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, you got classics like the Communist Manifesto. Um, but right. whenever, whenever a movement <laughs> yeah. of any kind happens, and there's a manifesto about it, it's so entertaining to read because it's people's very passionate ideas distilled down into a few pages or a few hundred. Um, but the Dada Manifesto basically talks about how it's an art movement that doesn't mean anything because nothing means anything, but it's not nihilist per se. Mm-hmm. So I can't remember his name right now, which is really sad. You know the urinal that was put in the art museum? Okay, that, that's part of the Dada movement? Yeah, what, do you know the artist's name? No, one, totally blanking. One, one thing great about them, um, they're so cool. <laughs> I, f- I feel bad. They also had a, like an alter ego personality um, in which they would dress in, in drag and do different performances. Whoa. And so um, back in like the 10s, 20s, and that was in France, I think. Marcel Ducamp. Ah, oh, wow. And okay. so their art is like huge in that way of a lot of gender ideas. Mm. Um, but Dada, cool. Dada's awesome. And yeah. Germany was definitely involved in that. Interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll look into that. I'm very yeah. excited. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, there's a resource that they have just on like European art, so mm-hmm. I was, or uh, German art during that time. So I was looking at it. and I was like, this looks fucking interesting. Mm-hmm. But now that I can also pair it with, you know, yeah. that please, please do. <laughs> That'll be cool. Gertrude Stein is also kind of a part of that. Gertrude Stein. She's one of my favorite authors. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Sweet. Why Thank you for favorite? putting me on. See, you do know a lot of stuff. <laughs> I, well, she's not German, though. It's oh, really? It's not, yeah. Oh, well, still. With Stein. This is maybe the same she is time German. Period. I don't even know. I thought she was British, but maybe she's British German. Um, have you ever watched any of the Olympic documentaries? No. I should. I know yeah. that Criterion has like a 100 years of the Olympic box set. Yep. Yeah, I've a, been going through that. Super good. Do you yeah. own it? No, or, or are you just no, going no, through it? Okay. Just going through it on the channel. Yeah, on the channel. <laughs> Surfing the webs. <laughs> Gonna have yeah. another sip mystery drink. Wait, I had an idea with the drink. Why don't people guess what it is in the comments? And if they get it right, they're gonna be winners of something. So cool. No, they're I've gonna been, be on the next episode. I keep having an, a desire <laughs> to like do some kind of like giveaway, but like I have nothing to give away. I won't take another sip, <laughs> and we'll give this away. <laughs> we'll give you get sixty percent of a bottle. No, we'll think of something to give away. Yeah. Like. Zine. My zine, yeah. That'd be cool. Which uh, I meant to bring you a copy. Yeah. But I haven't finished, like, putting it together. I mean, it's really easy. I'll do it later. That would be great. I would we love to see it. We can get it to you somehow. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Do, let's do that. That'd be fun. Yeah, I pet a horse. Yeah. That's a little tease. You you pet a horse? Or I you pet. get... you? I like touching a horse, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. True. <laughs> Do I get context? That, or is that, is that a little teaser? <laughs> Spoiler? Spoiler, sorry. You think that's a teaser? <laughs> I don't know. I pet a horse. How is that a teaser? <laughs> that's know. a bad teaser. Is this going to be the title of the... Is that <laughs> no, no, no. It's not oh, a okay, furry okay. zine. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> no, no, it's it's a very, no, it's very sweet and very pleasant. Yeah, that's good. So horses are frightening. It's like a travel, yeah, travel log or like a mm -hmm. pamphlet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it is like a like it just is about the road trip. Yeah. Okay. So love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, what else has been going on? <laughs> so, what made you interested in in the podcast that you're listening to about Weinmar? What was that uh, just um, out of nowhere? Ernst Lubitsch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, I, I watched uh, two of his movies, and they were really good. What were they? I don't know if I've seen any of his uh, movies. I forget what they're called. It's it's um yeah because I can never remember. I really want to be to be. I want to see to be or not to be. Mm -hmm. Um which apparently is like one of his best, but mm -hmm. I, I couldn't tell you what the, the two I actually saw were. Two really good ones. They're two, I mean, they're two really solid ones, but okay. they do have very like kind of generic names. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. But he was like early, you know, it was a long time ago, so I guess yeah. he could get away with it. Something. With generic names? Yeah. <laughs> Can't do it nowadays. No, not now. You got to have something exciting, <laughs> like. Yeah. Like, I wonder, like, people, like, however many years ago from now will like I don't know what's a generic movie name these days what does generic Ant movie Man. name Ant-Man <laughs> <laughs> like is is one word does that ge make it generic like will people a hundred years from now or eight, even 80 years from now be able to be like oh yeah you remember that uh, Ant-Man movie <laughs> really I don't think so. They won't be like, what was it? Ant Man, Spider Man? You don't think they'll do that? Because <laughs> I know kind of what it was. It was like Hotel of Paradise or something like that. Okay. That's kind of what it was, but it's not that. I don't know if that has to do with movies, but more, or the name of it, more just like the what it was about. So if you watch a movie and you know a guy was shrinking to the size of an ant, you could probably guess <laughs> Ant Man. If you watched a movie with a hotel that was, but I, you know, I, a paradise. <laughs> I never remember what I I just I don't rewatch movies that often. I just like watch them. I like getting the vibes. Yeah. You like getting something new. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I explore a lot. Mm -hmm. But then there's there is like benefit to watching a movie like and really absorbing it. Mm, I think so. Yeah. Some movies definitely deserve more rewatches than others though true what's a movie that you've rewatched a lot there are movies that i really liked as a kid that I would watch all the time mm -hmm. but since trying to watch more movies i've I've always been someone who likes new things i guess mm -hmm. but the tree of the tree of life is a movie i've shown multiple different people mm -hmm. um it's directed by terrence malick has mm -hmm. brad pitt in it have you seen it do you know have you heard it? It's, um, I could probably say it's my favorite movie. Probably. Mm -hmm. I could also not say it's my right. favorite movie. But that's a movie that when I get to know someone and we talk about films, that's like a go-to. Mm. Let's watch this together. Yeah, it's, I haven't really seen any Terrence Malick movies yet. You should yet. watch that. He's a, yeah, he's incredible. Um, that, that's my favorite of his. Mm. All of his are really good. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I want to watch his movies. I keep seeing them, but they seem like daunting. Oh, interesting. Me. Why is like, that? I just feel like, is this going to be really like a lot? <laughs> I think it can come across that way for sure. Mm -hmm. I think he's mm -hmm. fairly humble about it. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. all the esoteric philosophical ideas, but it doesn't come mm -hmm. across as, for me personally at least. But you can still like engage with it? Yeah, I think know? the one... Knight of Cups does seem like it is a little indulgent, and that oh, has Christian that. Bale in it, so it kind of goes, kind of makes sense. Right. Did um, you do a song of songs? Song to song, song yeah. To song? With, yeah, that one's good. All of them are oh, good. Okay. All what of them else are good. What did he do? He did Badlands Days with of Heaven. Days of Heaven, Thin Red Line, I which heard of this. Thin Red Line has a really wacky cast, because um, the movie is really long. But some of the main characters are completely cut out of the movie. Like Adrian Brody, who was cast as one of the lead characters, and his character in the book is like the main character, mm. has like two lines. Oh, really? <laughs> and so, 
And the same thing happens with a lot of Terrence Malick's movies. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Like, mm. he's cut out entirely. Yeah, um, Sean Penn, who's in The Tree Life and does a great job, says he doesn't like the movie very much because he thinks he did some of the best acting he's ever done, but most of those scenes didn't make the final cut. So Criterion <laughs> has a, a, a release that has an extended, it's like 40 minutes longer, and I haven't seen that version yet. So Ooh, that would be wonder, interesting. Yeah. Wow, okay, that sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Cool, cool things. Do I, do either of you have a go-to, like, you show someone and it's like a red or green flag, if they like oh. it or not, movie? That's a good question. School of Rock, I don't School know. of Rock. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't have fun watching that movie, it is a little... Yeah, or like Orange County. Orange Which, County. I think, I've, I think I've heard of that. Isn't that, um, what's his name, who has the YouTube channel now? Um, Jack Black. Jack, Jack Black's in Orange County? Jack oh, yeah. Black. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's same writer uh, with uh, School of Rock. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Mike White. He's very good. Mm-hmm. And Colin Firth is in it. Colin Firth? Yeah. Wait, no, it's not. He's no. not in okay. Firth? Wait, what? No. I was just Colin love Hanks. thinking about Colin, Colin Firth. Hanks. Colin Hanks, yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Close. <laughs> Colin Hanks. Yeah, yeah. Colin Hanks is in it. Colin Hanks. And um, who else? Uh, uh, the guy from Ghostbusters. Which one? Harold R- R- Rims. Is that possible? I'm not good with names. Yeah, he's like the guy with the glasses the goofy, and the yeah, yeah. hair, and he, he's like got a funny voice. I can see him. I can yeah, picture he him. He like gets high on something. Yeah, he gets high. <laughs> like, accidentally. <laughs> he's like cool. the dean at Stanford. Mm-hmm. And he accidentally <laughs> takes, like, drugs. <laughs> and he gets really high. That's, that sounds like so the, is that the beginning? Because that sounds like the start no, to a good... Like oh, okay. it's like two-thirds of the way little in. little snippet. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. Do you have a... A go-to? Yeah, like a... To no. te- test someone out? No. Okay. No, I mean... To te- I don't... Te- I. Uh, I mean, Why yeah, I? Popeye was probably like, like I love you if you love this movie. <laughs> I, I watched that when I was maybe nine with my sister. Mm-hmm. Or no, I was older than that. And 30 minutes in, we are like, isn't this supposed to be funny? And then we turned it off. But I really uh-huh. want to rewatch it because I love Altman. Um, yeah, I think if you if you rewatch, I think it, I'd love it now. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's so good. Yeah. It's it's like just like, oh man, it's like the closest I've seen to, like. I can see it Slapstick. being kind of like uninteresting for a kid, for mm-hmm. sure. I think from what I remember, it it plays a lot like um, Playtime. Do you know that movie? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, um, yeah. It's similar, just in the way that it's technically funny, but you might not laugh. Then when the movie's over, you're like, "Wow, that was funny." Right. You know? <laughs> I mean, I think it's hilarious. I laugh at it while I'm watching it. I'm awesome. like, I'm having the best time. To me, it's an ASMR movie. Oh, cool. So That's I good. just like fall asleep to it's it. It's a very cozy movie too. Yeah, yeah. we you picked just kind of sit there. We picked the right it. spot. We have cool people showing up. Yeah, there's like interesting people. But um, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, Popeye. Well, it's like Popeye. um, it's a lot like his other movie, Nashville. Have you seen that? Oh yeah, I love Nashville. I love Nashville. It's <laughs> one of the best soundtracks ever. Yeah. Oh yeah. No that that one song. How does that last song go? It don't worry mm-hmm. me. It don't worry me. You might say that I'm not free, but it don't worry me. But don't, don't. I love like wow. the five key changes at the end. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. one of the. I cry fairly often. Oh, okay. Um, last with time you art. cried. Last time I cried was. Okay. Um, like right now. I watched a movie. It, it's most of the time when I cry, it's with art. Um, maybe that's a really bad thing. That could be a really bad thing that I don't cry just by myself. Um, I mean, I think nothing is bad unless it's causing harm to others. Maybe it, it's not as healthy as it could be. Is that a good way to put it? I mean, I, mean, I, I also it's, don't it's, believe in good. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's better to be crying watching a movie than crying by yourself. Well, I did. But, but maybe not. I don't know. I did get teary-eyed. It wasn't a cry-cry, but I definitely spilt tears watching a movie a couple nights ago called Diamonds of the Night. Diamonds um, of the Night. It's about two boys that run away from a concentration camp. 
mm. and as you can imagine it was it was very emotional it's interesting because it doesn't really focus on the holocaust at all it's just more about what happens to the boys after they run away right um but at the end of nashville that that ending completely caught me off guard and oh, okay that, that those right. produced some tears as well oh, yeah <laughs> watch yeah, I bet. It. yeah i want to watch that yeah have you what? seen uh yeah. well I, actually this is an interesting it's not a litmus test but oh, uh-huh. but it's just like the recommendation that i make mm-hmm. to people serious like with a with a with a heavy heart i'm listening intently <laughs> um showa have you seen it showa i have not seen it but I, d- I do know of it i remember the day my older brother watched it because he turned me on to a lot of art mm-hmm. and he told me about it the day he watched it. He's like, yeah, I finished watching a documentary. And then I was like, oh, wow, that's really cool. But as I slowly learned more about what that movie is, mm. um, I was like, wow, Chad, that was a tough day. And later yeah. I've like talked to him. I was like, I can't, like, you watch that? that would and he was like, yep, that was a, yeah. it was a long day. Yeah, yeah, no, I think, like, definitely plan plan it out mm-hmm. when you're going to watch it. eight and a half hours? I think it's it nine hours, nine but hours. but I'm not sure. Yeah, it was, it, but it I'll was. Watch it. Yeah, it's all. I I think just at some point in your life, try to make a day of it. You know, make a day of it. Watch it. You recommend one sitting? Um, you know, I did not watch it in one sitting. Mm-hmm. I watched it in the parts because it is separated into parts. I think that like does help. Two, three, or four parts. Mm-hmm. And I know that the filmmakers made multiple films afterward involving similar topics. I think so, at least. Um. Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, they released all the interview footage and all that, so you can watch them in their entirety. But I, I do have the DVD, and I can lend it to you. You do? You want it. Yeah. What, what, I have um, it specifically for lending to people. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. I, that would be an amazing thing to, to yeah, get yeah, as yeah. a gift. I know that you're leaving. I wouldn't want to keep it for an extended period of time. But. I mean, I. No, where else totally. would it be? Yeah, yeah no, it just we have it. At plant, least stop you know, by. Because yeah. that gives you enough time. Because mm-hmm. we might yeah. be here next week. Okay, but that'll Maybe. that'll give you enough time. You can keep it because that that'll give you enough time to make a day of it. And yeah, that know. would be awesome. That's certainly yeah. been on my watch list. Thank you for yeah, the yeah, recommendation. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, I'd love to borrow it. Sweet thing. Yeah. Now I also own Satan Tango, by Bella Tarr. Are you familiar oh, with that movie? Yeah, yeah. That, that I one. I have not braved that one. <laughs> Me neither, because <laughs> I I own that on Blu-ray. It's a beautiful, beautiful release. Bart Arbelos Films. I think they they recently did like a 4K remaster and then oh. they released a Blu-ray. Um, I don't know Arbelos films. They're really cool. They only have like eight releases, and um, I have almost almost all of them. Yeah, because they started just a couple years ago. Oh. And so they've done a lot of really cool movies. Um, Wow. Yeah. It's like an eleven-hour movie, right? No, it's not that long. It's it's seven and a half, maybe. Oh, seven and a half. Or seven. Oh, okay. What What was I so worried about? Yeah. It probably <laughs> feels feels like 11 hours. Have you seen any of that director's movies? I have. Bill, Bill, no. so his movies feel very slow. So it probably feels like 11 hours. Mm. <laughs> um, slow in the best possible way. You made me watch uh, Burning. Burning? You, well, you didn't What's finish burning? it. No, because I was like, this is so, uh, so boring. <laughs> I... Oh, is that that? Um, it's is that a Korean movie? It's a, yeah. it's a Korean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Korean it's movie. It's so slow. I, was like, I can't do this. I love slow movies. They make me happy. Have you, oh, a peach upon or yeah Joe's movies yeah, yeah those are Joe <laughs> do you know how to pronounce his whole name I would love to learn I don't I like the the last name I kind of messing up but it's I I think a peach upon is how it would maybe sound the first with the first name we're a sasta cooler I, I don't know it's really wrong. really cool guy yeah no he had a um like a thing like that you could apply for where directors 40 directors would go into the amazon and (laughs) like just camp out for like a month and then like make a movie each of them i've heard of this and they would and they would like screen them when they would fall asleep right or something Uh, like that i don't know maybe okay (laughs) but i could have i didn't hear about that part of it Mm -hmm. in, in my reading but i wanted to apply for it but i was like I don't have really. Well, it like also like costs yeah a bunch of money. Yeah, and it would cost a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, money's kind overrated. Of raising my eyebrows at that. But <laughs> it's a, it seems like a cool experience. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it would it would have been it's interesting. It's good that he's like giving back to the community and like raising the younger ones. I think that's a good thing to do mm-hmm. in the art community. I've realized, 
Because, like, mm-hmm. that's a thing in, like, the writing community, like, or journalism community. Mm-hmm. They right. always talk about that, like, oh, I've got to look after, you know, the young ones, or the young ones being like, oh, yeah, those guys, they're not cool because they didn't mm-hmm. look after us. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yeah, I'm talking about Jin. He's that, a friend that we have in Japan. Is that um, the Yakuza journalist? That's the or other that, guy. Okay. And I think he's good at like looking after younger ones and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He definitely is. He's Very good at okay. looking after everyone around him, mm-hmm. including us oftentimes. Yeah, he's he's done a lot of really nice things for us. Yeah, he's very nice. He's a man. Um and uh but yeah, I I think I like it when people are open with I don't know, their time and information. <laughs> but does that sound bad to me? That doesn't no. sound bad to you at all. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I like, yeah. Art, art is, at least from my limited experience, art is community. And so the more that that can happen, the better. Yeah. Well, plus, like, I think everyone, I mean, I guess there are, like, standardized ways of doing things. Like, if you're, like, in the industry. But, like, I still think that every everywhere you go, there's, like, still so many differences. That mm-hmm. it's, like, I don't know. I don't think, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You think that you don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. Is it? Anyway. So, I can like either of you whistle? I'm sorry. I interrupted you. Oh, no, no, no. I was no, no. just going to say this place is so beautiful. It is pretty. I learned how to whistle like a month ago. Oh, really? I've been really happy about it. Because I always felt much worse about myself than I really should have. Just for the fact that I couldn't whistle. I just didn't put in the work, but I could kind of. You put get a in the tune. work. Put in the hours. Wow, yeah. you worked. <laughs> so that's a that's little. That's cool. That's I can, awesome. I've I've done How a did little too. you tune. put in the work? What, yeah. what was, what's the work? I would just Try. whistle. <laughs> <laughs> I would just you know do the, it. <laughs> the Peppa Pig clip. Do what? you do you like uh-huh. Peppa Pig? Nah, I never really watched Peppa no, Pig's fun, but there's a fun clip. Um, where Peppa is trying to whistle in an episode and she calls a friend and she's like, I'm having a hard time whistling. And mm-hmm. her friend's like, what's that? It's like, when you put your lips together and blow. The friend's like, like this? And whistles. And Peppa just hangs up the phone. Very entertaining. Wow. I love kids shows. <laughs> They're brutal. beautiful. It is brutal. Wow. Bluey. Have you seen Bluey? Bluey. Nope. Bluey is amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I shall like stop now really so I don't old? rant. <laughs> well, no, I'm I, like I'm. I, no, we're not old. I'm not too young. <laughs> yeah, we're. I'm I've only never well, heard do of either Bluey. of you do either of you have like nieces or nephews over like younger siblings? I know Blippy. Yeah. Blippy, Blippy, is fun. <laughs> Blippy is fun. <laughs> yeah, Blippy. I don't know. I I was annoyed by Blippy at first, but then I watched more and I was like, huh. Think about how much money, just yeah, for know, just for right. going to like a local museum and yelling a little. Yeah, yeah, true. But um, Team Umizumi. Yeah, That's, Umizumi. Is that old at this point? I uh, they just had like their an anniversary, I think, of the really? first episode. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. I don't know what you're talking about. I th- I thought Team Umizumi was pretty good. I don't know what that is. What Am I just so out of doodle touch? Doodle dots? What is, what is it? I don't know. Doodle dots? No, the, the, we're the, we're the, they're like blue and pink and, and they would be like, see you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just make up a show? No. No, the doodle bobs. <laughs> <laughs> it's the doodle bobs. No, you just made that up. <laughs> no, it's. <laughs> no, I swear to you, it's a doodle bops. Look, this this shit is up. a this is a pitch. See you Dude. later, no, alligator. No, the doodle bops are awesome. Okay, you'll love it. This is so funny. So the the, it's animated. Bops. No, 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 no. It's that's not the, that's animated. That's the best part. It's like they're like alien creatures or something. They're like blue and pink, and they like, <laughs> and there's like this like black woman that like comes up, and she's like. <laughs> They, they're the ones that, see, you know, see you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile. 
think she's that's like, how every episode ends i'm guessing or she comes every time mm. like it, it's like very heartwarming <laughs> I, lo- I love shows like that. No, but this I is a look great up the doodle bobs. They dance. They have a show. If They're it's like fake, I'm going to be so mad They're if artists. I look it up. <laughs> that sounds great. I know. you got to watch it. It's so, it's honestly so good. What was it? Do you know if this was a Nickelodeon thing? Was this like... See, I watched it on some like weird kids channel that I've never heard of. Okay. <laughs> like, is this like last grandma, week or was this was... growing up? Like No, this was growing up. Okay. Yeah, my my grandma would just like have it on. <laughs> she was watching it too. Well, cause she was always hanging out with Christopher, and so Christopher had it. Christopher is my little brother. Mm-hmm. How so. many siblings do you have? I'm Ooh. in a big family. I have mm-hmm. six siblings. Wow. I'm the Second youngest. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Go. I'll drink to that. Family. This water. Amen to that. Um. Yeah, I have a younger sister and then four older brothers and an older sister. Mm. Okay. Could you repeat Do you that, want please? the order? <laughs> yes, Wait, please. So you're second to Can last? Can you give names? Second to last. Oh. No, don't, names. you don't have to give names. Good names. Okay. <laughs> brother one is his name. And then brother okay. two. And then brother three. And then okay. sister one. Sister and then one. brother four. Brother four. And then me. And then sister you're two. And then sister two. So I'm the youngest um, boy. In the family. Gotcha. The okay. youngest the boy. Baby boy. The baby boy. Wow. Does and it come across in, in my personality that I'm the youngest boy? Um, <laughs> I would never think about the youngest yeah. boy. <laughs> but, um, you know, Maybe, I, don't know. I don't really know that many families with... Actually, you know what? Kind of. Okay, yeah. I can see it. Goodbye. Oh, good call. Do you come from a, a large or small family? Four, like four with my mom and my dad. Mm-hmm. And then there's one with my dad and another woman. Oh, step, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Or half. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that would be five in total. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My dad, he has like a, it's kind of similar for him. He's mm-hmm. got a lot of half siblings Mm -hmm. yeah I should probably check to see if things are filming okay goodbye goodbye phone yeah she did I'm kind of hungry how are you I'm I'm doing well cool it's been a pleasant conversation yeah it's fun We are down to two. Down to, to, two. to um. Oh, that one. Oh, three. Yeah, this is still going, but this is also almost. This is on low battery, but this is still going. We're running close to the edge. All right, let's uh wrap things up. Do you want to get lunch or something? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Yeah, let's get lunch. What do you like? What are your favorite restaurants? As I said, as I said a little bit earlier, I you have not really eaten out. out a whole lot. Um, so, you cook? so, are you looking for like favorite? Wait, do you cook local a lot? restaurants? I put things together. I'm not. I'm not really a good cook. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wait, you you said that you uh, you like Indian food. Maybe we should go to that I Indian do. buffet. I do. Perhaps. Perhaps. Because isn't that near Zia's? I don't. I'm not sure Zia's. which one you're talking about. <laughs> you keep doing that lately. What? You just say restaurant <laughs> name without an S, but you just add the S. <laughs> like Zia's, or like, you did it with another one recently. Do people call it Zia's? I always call it Zia's, even oh, though it's really? technically Zia So records. people do call it that. I don't know why that's such a common thing, but... <laughs> yeah. So you you can still one. rat on him for it. That's... <laughs> No, but that's how the locals call it, right? The, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> no, oh. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Zia's. It's just inter- It's fun to say. It's fun to but say. But it is technically Zia. Zia's. Zia Records. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. Zia's. It's it's not like yeah, it's not named after a, a person. Do you um? Okay. What would you? So, what are your favorite restaurants? Probably the best restaurant. 
I've ever been to is a mesa. Um, it's El Pollo Picante, Ooh, and okay. it's a small. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Pollo are you, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Okay. Ouch. I believe in you. Okay. So sorry. What, um, it what is, is it? a it's a small me- Mexican restaurant, and they you just buy what meat you want and then they give you all the meat and all the toppings and you make your own tacos um, okay. really really oh, I delicious think that restaurant the, the taco place the mexican restaurant we went to the other day or yesterday tacos Cal- califia yeah that they do something like that too i think mm-hmm. on the menu God. oh it was so good that place was so good yeah wasn't it great it's was like the best mexican place i've been to we've maybe. spent most of the time talking about food love food Love food. Food is a good thing. Yeah. It's a good thing. I can't wait to get to some food. Well, I really love your uh, bracelets. I love all your your necklaces and stuff. Did you make them or? I can give you a a rundown. This is um, this is from Rocky Point, Mexico. This is from Rocky Point, Mexico. (laughs) It says has my name on it. Um, This was made by a friend for from my last birthday. Mm-hmm. Um, it's love in Morse code. I don't know exactly how that works, mm-hmm. um, but that's what they said. This was made by my beloved Bailey. Mm-hmm. Um, it says French New Wave because I like French New Wave, but particularly um, she watched a movie with her family. Mm-hmm. The way she put it is it was not a Hallmark movie, but a Netflix original trying to be like a Hallmark movie. So it was, it was quite difficult to watch. But there was a scene um, introducing one of the main characters, and to show how cool and quirky they were, they went into their old childhood bedroom, and it had, like, the hoop on the door and, like, all the, like, fun displays, and then they had a framed picture that just said French New Wave, like, just in a font. Like, that's all it said. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, they're cool. Um, <laughs> deep inside yeah. Yeah, joke. Deep. And then this I found on the floor at school years ago, and this I made maybe a year ago. What's this say? There's that. It's, I think it says crazy smile in the middle. That's awesome. <laughs> Depending on where it falls. I really like it. Thank you. It's very kind of you to I say. I gave you a freaking bracelet and you like never wear it. <laughs> where yeah, is I'm, it I'm even? I'm worried about breaking it. Yeah, he says that. <laughs> That's a good excuse. <laughs> I, I know where it is. It's. Can I wear it? I feel like I should wear it. Yeah, you can wear it. <laughs> Okay, very cool. It. It's <laughs> yeah. cool. I put a lot of work into it. You no, know, it is very cool. I will wear it for one of these park episodes very soon. That's a teaser. That's a good tease. Yeah. So you better you better keep subscribe. up. <laughs> um, subscribe. Yeah, we've got to tell people to do things now. I okay, guess. wait. Can we reveal <laughs> the liquid? We're gonna bleep it out. But Wait, should, I, should I reveal what the liquid is? I, I know how to I've been things so out. curious. Okay. okay. This is um Oh yeah, but I you like took the wrapper off? I did take the wrapper off. I have the habit of taking wrappers off. Um oh, I need all drinks. Drink. I, oh. I think it started where like You'd be somewhere, and then you'd get a bottle of water, and then you're like, which one is mine? So I'd always take the wrapper off right away. Mm. Um, so it's just a habit. So that there it is. Do you think that's because you had a lot of siblings? or? Uh, partially, yes, for sure. Yeah. Um, mm. I'm pretty touchy with, like, um, food and stuff. Mm. So if someone else drank from my, I'm not going to get that back. Um, mm. So, yeah, that's, that's, a good, that's a good point. This has been therapeutic for you to talk about my... I like having therapy. siblings. Yeah, that's like very I like to therapy. Yeah. Okay, well, let's continue let's this at some, with some food. <laughs> Good idea. But, but, and without you guys. Okay. Um, that was rude. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> that was rude. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Thanks, guys. Make hope, sure you subscribe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we love you. Uh, please. Uh, yeah, have a, have a great day. Bye. And, Bye. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you so much. Show. Yeah, thank you very much for the talking with us. Yeah. And being here. Good good conversation. Yeah. Good now place to be. Let's get lunch. Yeah, let's get lunch. Bye. Bye. All right. See you guys. That's going to be fun to edit.